You said the same thing I told ya. My eyes are clear, there's no secret. I wanna know, was it serious? I need a kid, my best friend. Is it easy to show? With the weight of the world on my shoulders, I know I told you. It's the best light I know. It's not a game that I am playing. My love, trying to hold my feeling. I don't know what's right. I'll find the best way. I think that I might. I know you made. Show, with the weight of the world on my shoulders, I know I told you it's the best light I know. It's not a game that I am playing. My love, trying to hold my feeling, I don't know what's right. I'll find the best way I can fit on my. I know you made. Let's start with, you know, you as a competitor and being a mom. Broad question, how do you do that? <sighs> so we actually discussed this before. Um, the mom life. Being a mom is the, one of the best, most rewarding thing ever, yet is the most toughest job ever. <laughs> so now I appreciate my mother a lot more. Now, trying to combine that with being an athlete, difficult. Um, basically, she, everything goes, she's my priority. So she goes first, then goes the calm. But I try my best to manage and juggle it together. Um, so I'm up at 4.30 in the morning. When it comes to my workouts, I try to see my clients six, seven, work out if I could eight or nine, and while she's in school. As soon as she's out of school, gets picked up and it's all mom duties. And then uh, she gets a little break, so I'll have her on her tablet or I'll have her doing homework or something or reading, and um, I get to go do some cardio. So I give myself like her an hour break, that'll be my cardio time. So I try to just juggle it around and make it work, and I'm exhausted, but if you want something really bad, you're gonna do it. You're kind of breaking the stereotype of what a mother is capable of. Definitely. I feel like there's always an excuse. Now, I'm not saying it's easy. I'm not going to say that. But I feel like people do play uh, with, that, with the mom title as, oh, I can't do this because I'm a mom. I can't do that because I'm a mom. I feel like if you want something, you'll do anything you want. Um, it's just how bad you want it. Now, it doesn't mean you have to be an athlete because this is something to the next level. It's something that I, I probably wouldn't recommend it for everyone. But in the sense of being healthy, I think anyone and everyone could be healthy. It's just you have to choose it and you have to make it a priority and people don't. And that's realistic and that's honesty. Look at uh, our statistics here, how high is obesity? It's, it's really high, especially now in kids. And I think that's something I'm definitely trying to teach my daughter. It's not so much about what's good, what's bad in the sense of food, because there's no such thing. If you want a piece of cake, why not? It's not that you can't have things, but everything should be in, in moderation and everything needs to be controlled in amounts. So like my mother, even yesterday, um, I just gave my daughter a piece of pancake and uh, she also had a banana literally like 30 minutes prior. And my mother decides an hour later, she's giving her, it's called gong gong. Gong gong is like the crispy part of the rice. She's giving her rice on top of them. I'm like, mom, that's carbs on carbs on carbs. Like, what are you doing? I was like, I don't teach my daughter that. I was like, everything controlled. Get, break it down. Give her at least two hours. <laughs> like, like let, let food digest. Don't just keep stuffing a kid. Um, but they don't know. They just think that kids are always hungry or something. I don't know. Um, so my thing is just teach her how to eat, how to stay active. 
but to keep it being happy and enjoy foods you like. She loves pizza. We made pizza yesterday at home, and it was healthy version. I buy a, a, a lower carb flatbread uh, sauce, uh, low fat uh, mozzarella cheese, and we cook it in the oven, and it's delicious. And don't tell my coach, I might have tasted a tiny bite, but uh, it's a, it tastes delicious, it's amazing, and it tastes just as good as the pizza you're buying outside. Now, of course, a little bit of extra grease here and there, it's gonna taste better, especially if you're deprived. But um, she loves it, and she looks forward to making it with me. So if you wanna make cakes, we make protein um, muffins, we make ice cream, you know? There's, there's alterations of making the time to stay healthy and stay fit. What was that moment like for you, New York Pro second place, when they called your name for that? Can I be honest? <laughs> I was really happy. The fact that I got top three, that's what I want. That was my intention to get top five, actually. But obviously we all want money, so we want to go for top three. But I was a little upset because I really wanted first place. I'm, I'm, my goal is just to get to Olympia. Like, I want to be on Olympia this year. I don't want it tomorrow. I don't want it next year. I want it now. Um, so I think it keeps you hungry and it keeps you fighting to try to get to first place. So I was happy, but I didn't feel as happy as when I got my pro card. That's the truth. But I'm going up against these amazing women. So I know, I know what's coming my way. How's all the competitions going for you this year? I mean, are you? Well, it's just my second pro show. Mm -hmm. So from the first to the second, big difference. 10th place to first, second place. Um, I brought my condition better. And right now I'm just trying to hold that condition. Maybe even soften up a tiny bit and um, for this show. And we'll see what it brings me. I'm hoping. You've been working for this, with this coach for a while? I started with him for the Pittsburgh when I got turned pro. Leon, he's, uh, he's amazing. He's a good coach. Have you all done anything else different besides the conditioning? Or? Well, we, honestly, he really wants to form my shoulders more and keep rounding and bringing more depth in my back. Um, he already spoke about off-season, so I know that uh, I need to develop a little bit more muscle in my delts and uh, my glutes and definitely my center back. So I know I have work to do, but when you're deprived and you're depleted, you're not gonna do the same things that you would do off season. So off season, we have a, a lot of work to do. But right now, I don't want off season. I want first place. <laughs> why, why is this a passion for you? Because uh, you've been doing it for a while, but can you remember back on why you started? Um, well, the first, I, it wasn't a passion in the beginning. I, wasn't even, I didn't even know about bodybuilding. I wasn't even into muscles. I just wanted to be skinny. Um, but after having my daughter, and wanting to become a personal trainer, I found a new goal for myself, and I wanted to make sure I ate losing weight. There wasn't gonna be those fad diets that I've always been doing, so I got into weight training, and that was my newfound love. After weight, becoming a weight, uh, after weight training and becoming a personal trainer, and my friends was like, oh, you should compete, you should compete. I'm like, no, 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 no. Then one of my friends, um, who was actually my first coach, uh, he, helped me out. He was like, yo, I think we should do this. So I was like, you know what? Let's give it a try. I kept looking into it, did research, and I fell in love with figure, and I wanted to do it. Looking at Nicole Wilkins, she was like my inspiration. And um, I admired her, so I decided, you know what, I can do that. If she can do it, I can do it. <laughs> and um, after winning my first show and seeing my, I think my, seeing my daughter's reaction, I don't even wanna cry, but seeing my daughter's reaction, um, that's what kept me going. And knowing that even though people might be against what I do or they hate that I'm like in my own little world, even though my, she's my main world, so I don't see why that would be a bad thing, but um, making her happy and letting her see how she reacts to it and how she sees me on stage drives me every day to want to succeed. She, she gets ecstatic when she sees a trophy. She goes, Mom, I want to, like she did a spelling bee, she goes, Mom, I'm upset because I didn't win a trophy like you, you know, like, Everything goes towards me. She got a trophy for ballet, and she was like, Mom, this trophy is, you know how you give me your trophies? I wanna give you my trophy, Mommy. I love you so much, Mommy. You make me happy, and this and that. So that, just my daughter, my number one inspiration. That's good stuff. Cool. I'm happy. Do you wanna add anything else? Anything you can think of? Um, all comps come with um, hard times. And it's funny, every single competition I've been doing, 
I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's because we're so hungry or we're so tired that we realize everything a lot more. But um, usually, especially at my first comp, I think was the easiest for me. Even though I was going through things, it was the easiest because I just knew I wanted it and I, I worked less. Um, she was a lot smaller, my daughter was smaller, so it was easier. Um, now it became, it's like every time I do something or I'm at a new chapter, it gets harder and harder in the sense with the world, and not so much as a competition. When it comes to a lot of negativity or, um, how do I say it, or a lot of like uh, situations in my own personal life will start going bad, going sour. And um, finally, I can actually say that even though things went really bad for me this time around, it seems like it's going back up now. I'm meeting uh, special people right now that are helping me a lot. Um, so when it comes to my best friend, Jill, she actually competed, competes as well. I'm her, I coach her for a bikini. And um, she be, she's became my best friend, and she's amazing with me. Um, she helps me so much. She's like my daughter's sister or something. I don't know. She loves her. Um, I met someone also really special to me right now that's been helping me with my competitions and believes in me and believes, in, believes I will succeed, um, Michael. He's 100% um, on. And that, like, when somebody believes in you as much as, as he does or as much as in general, anybody who really truly looks for me and says, yeah, you know what, I, I see you getting there, I see you in Olympia, that touches me so much and it wakes me up like I don't want to fail them. You know, I, I've, I've, been, I've been so blessed this past month. It's like crazy. Um, and an old friend of mine that I knew when I was 14 years old contacted me and wanted to help me right away. Like, listen, anything you need, if I can help you, I want to help you. Um, I started the GoFundMe page, which I was so against um, because I'm, I felt like I was going to start asking people for money and I felt like it was degrading me. And people were trying to open up my eyes, like, no, it's not degrading you. You, you know, if you need help, there's people out there that will care and will help you. You know, and every contribution counts. I don't, who cares if it's a dollar? You know, you're a mom, you're alone. You, you, you can use the help. And I'm like, no, no, no. And I kept pushing it off. I don't know if you remember. I kept pushing it off. I was like, no, no, I don't want to. Finally, I did it. And you see that the pe there's people out there that actually want to help you. Um, so it's kind of just showing me that the world is not full of so much negative negativity. No matter how down you go, something will come up to lift you up. So if you believe in something, it will come true and it will happen. And um, what will Olympia bring for me? I have no idea. But I'm hoping it will only bring good things. And I've only heard that it brings good things. So I'm hoping that it happens for me too. And something good can come out of this, a future for me and my kid. Um, maybe business aspects start opening up and broadening up for me too. Um, sponsorships because I do want to stay in this. I have to figure a way to be able to be a mom 100% on, because I will not cut anything off when it comes to my daughter's education or her time. She's my priority, so I have to figure out how can I do this and do that? And how can I make my own life too, because I need to have a social life. I want to get married one day, you know? I want to, I want to, I want to be happy, I want to live that fairy tale life, so I want, I want it all. Am I going to accomplish it? I'm going to try. <laughs> That's good stuff. Zaley, you want to yeah. say anything? That's fun. Come here. I want to show you my main inspiration. Oops, sorry, baby. Her hair is like all tangled. This is my main inspiration right here. Can I get a hug? So, do you want to say anything? Um. Do you want to tell uh, Chris? Why do you love seeing mommy compete? Um, Why do you like seeing mommy in competition? Because sometimes you win trophies. Yeah, and why else? Do you like going to my shows? Why? Because um, when you go on stage, it makes me happy. Um, is, what do you like doing with mommy? What's your favorite thing to do with mommy? Um, uh, do you like doing anything particular with mommy? Yeah. What do you like doing with mommy? Uh, I like um, doing, going for walks and when we do exercise. What did we do today? Did we go for a walk today? You did a cardio with mommy, right? 
And do you, what kind of exercise do you like doing with mommy? Uh, I like to walk. Only walking? And running. And running? What about squats or push-ups? Do you know how to do push-ups? Yeah. Yeah? You sure? Can you show mommy? How do you do a push-up? Uh, Let me see. Let me see. You want me to do it with you? Yeah? Let's do a push-up together. Come on. Let's see if you can do a push-up. Ready? Okay. So we're going to go down. You're going to bring your hands up. Are you ready to do a push-up? You're going to look at the floor. You're going to put your hands up here and push up. Good job. And go back down. Again, hands up and to your side and push up. Good job. One more time. Ready? And push up. Good job. Can we show Chris how a squat looks like? Let's see. Can you show me? I want you to teach mommy. How do we do a squat? Show me. How do we do a squat? Mm-hmm. We have to fix your feet. So how's your feet? Good. And you're going to bend those knees and go up. All right. So you're gonna, oh, you're doing a squat jump? Okay. So squat. Ready? Go down and jump. One. Go. Ready? And two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. One more. Eight. High five. We do this at home, right? And at the gym. Do you come to the gym with mommy? Yeah. Do you go to work with mommy? Yeah. Everybody loves you, right? Hey. I even take her to work with me. Show me your muscles. Can I see your muscles? How do we flex? How does mommy flex? Like that? Or like this? <laughs> How do you like me on stage? Uh, huh? What's your favorite pose of mommy on stage? Um, when you see mommy on stage, how do I, what's your favorite one? Um, when I go like this? Or when I go like this? Um, like that? <laughs> She's so cute. Okay. She's, She's like funny. a little you. She's my, she's my twin. She's a blonde <laughs> version of me. Because cool. I have black, black hair and she has... Um, it actually looks darker right now, but uh, she actually has like dirty blonde. 